Danny Baxter is back talking our local forecast. Danny, another day where it started off cloudy, but clouds have kind of cleared out and it's just another gorgeous day. Hard to complain. Yeah, seeing peaks of sunshine, which is perfect timing. That's what we expected right before the sun sets. It helps things feel a little bit more comfortable. Mandalay Bay camera looking gorgeous. I'm sure the strip going to be a busy place tonight. Temperatures fairly comfortable. Highs close to 70 today, but right now we're sitting in the upper 60s for most of Southern Nevada. 68 in Sunrise Manor, 66 for Henderson, mid 70s for Pahrump and upper 70s in Laughlin. It's beautiful. You can see on the satellite here, the clouds are beginning to thin out a little bit, offering a little sunshine, but we're not completely in the clear yet. Partly cloudy conditions continue as this upper level moisture streams in from the Pacific. Through tonight, clouds not going to mess with you a whole lot, but do brace for the cooler conditions as we head into Friday night plans today. Fairly comfortable, but with the sun setting shortly after 430, uh, temperatures cool quickly and by 8 p.m. we're in the low 60s. By 9 p.m. we're in in the upper 50s. You'll want to include a jacket for any of those Friday night plans. After midnight, temperatures fall to the low to mid 50s. Lows eventually uh, in the upper 40s, low 50s ahead of sunrise tomorrow. Very similar to where we started this morning, so it does make for a cold start to Saturday morning, but tomorrow afternoon looking comfortable. A very similar forecast to today. Temperatures around the same spot, low 50s to start, low 70s to end, and we'll see that mix of sun and clouds with peaks of sunshine, but high clouds continuing to stream in. Our next round of weather other changes arrive Sunday. You'll notice the breeze picking up associated with a cold front that helps to clear the skies and cool the temperatures. Our next storm system moving through on Tuesday that brings the return of cloud cover. So just the unsettled conditions continue uh, up and down the west coast. What you're seeing here is that clearing behind the front and then that next storm system. So rounds of breezy wind, rounds of cloud cover and with that secondary storm system early next week, we could also get an isolated chance for rain. Behind that one, temperatures drop more significantly significantly. So although we hover close to 70 degrees through the start of next week, by Thanksgiving, much more seasonal air arriving. The good news is, yeah, we're falling to low 60s by Thanksgiving, but we're back to sunshine. So I do think it'll be a nice day. And keep in mind, low 60s, totally average for this time of year. So it's right around where we should be. This weekend on Mount Charleston, you got to pack the heavier jackets. Our highs are in the upper, 50, uh, upper 40s, low 50s, with lows just in the 30s. So cold for the higher elevations, but pretty pleasant down here in the valley. Again, highs close to 70 degrees through Tuesday. That next storm system on Tuesday will pick up the breeze and drop the temperatures. Highs uh, fall into the low, low 60s by Thanksgiving with lows in the mid 40s. So it is going to feel a little chilly, but tis the season. And it's about time that our forecast keeps up with the calendar.